Hey guys, welcome back to another TFPAT video. So this time I give you another small update on what is happening on my bike. Because as you might remember, I finished the bike. It looks absolutely fabulous. I'm really happy with this. Uh, I wanted to do that uh, end video. I'm ready to make that video. But the thing is, the bike has to run really well to make that video. And I was planning to go to that dino jet, as you might remember. Then I was thinking, well, should I or should I not? Because the bike yeah, feels kind of right. Really runs smooth. But in that last time that I made the uh, static pictures, I noticed that the bike didn't run very well. Actually, it only ran on one cylinder. Now, of course, I, I panicked because I thought like, oh no, is this something with my cam? The whole freaking camshaft is completely broken. But it was absolutely nothing with my cam. So, th because that problem was really good, well solved. So I brought the bike to the Dynojet guy. And the first thing that he noticed, of course, is what it was running on one cylinder. So he took off the carburetor, looked what was happening in there, and he noticed that one of the um, jets was uh, kind of clogged, which is strange because I ultrason cleaned all the carburetors. And the other thing that he noticed is that there's a lot of play between the left and the right carburetor. Now, if you uh, tilt one of the valves in the carburetor, the other valve should tilt uh, at the same time because otherwise your, uh, your, uh, your, your cylinders are not in synchrone. So um, well, there's a lot of play between the connection rods between those two carburetors. So he said like, I rather have a different set of carburetors. So I did a, a big research and I found this junkyard which still had the Hitachi set carburetor which was in an okay condition. So I raced over to the junkyard and I brought it to uh, the Dynojet guy and he could make um, uh, the, the thing work a little bit better with those spare parts. Now then he started to do a vacuum test and uh, have a look at this video. So as you can see, um, uh, you need like around uh, 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 more than 0.2 compression in there and uh, a lot of compression is g uh, flowing somewhere. We don't know where. So he asked me and he said like, what kind of revision did you do? And I said, I did the whole lot, everything, absolutely everything, as you know. So also I did the, the valves uh, really carefully. With the, with the grid and all the tools that you need for them and a new, new, uh, uh, there are new springs in there, uh, compression springs and oil springs and everything for the cylinder. So yeah, I cannot imagine, and new gaskets everywhere, I cannot imagine where it leaks. And now it's very high and stationary. So he said, okay, well, I'm gonna do a better vacuum test and also on the valves and everything. And it could be that in your carburetor, something is leaking or that air goes out there. Luckily, um, he switched the carburetors just to exclude everything. Uh, and he switched to the, uh, the, the, the carburetors that I found on the junkyard. And have a look at this video. Now everything is perfect. So he said, okay, so there was something wrong in the carburetor. So it's really giving a great compression of nine bars, completely synchron, uh, both uh, front and rear cylinder, and absolutely no uh, leakage, way, uh, uh, way in the tolerances. So now everything is perfect. Um, so now he can uh, start jetting it. Uh, which is great because I think I'm going to get a bike back which runs way better than it ran uh, as I had it because uh, uh, obviously it leaked somewhere in the carburetors. The only thing is, and uh, this is a bit unfortunate, 
is that my carburetors are really clean and really nice uh, ultrasound and everything. And if he fixes everything and he puts back the carburetors and he says like, okay, your bike is perfect now, then I have those old carburetors in there. So actually there should be a way to clean them before he installs. I don't know how I'm going to manage that, but this will be something uh, for later worries. So I wanted to give you this update. If you like this channel, please make sure to subscribe because there's a really great video coming up. And if you like the video, just give a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, leave them in the section below. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.